Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Well, guys, we're getting a lot of announcements now because of SHOT Show 2019 that's going on, and one of the guns that's going to be creating a lot of buzz this year is going to be the uh, replacement or the new version of the High Point C9. And uh, the Firearms blog, uh, TFB TV, they've got exclusive access to a, a prototype or a 3D printed model of this pistol that they showed off in their most recent video. Uh, we're going to take a look at the pistol that's featured in the video and check out some of the design cues, the features see what it has to offer so first things first I will put a link to the TFV TFB video uh, in the description box for this video I will also put it down in the comment section down below on the YouTube video that you guys are watching right here make sure you check out the video because you really do get to see it up close and personal from all the different angles there's just a few design cues that I want to take a look at so uh, let's go ahead and do that we'll compare it to the uh, the C9 now please understand please understand guys this is just a like a static model a very early prototype of what uh, high point expects to sell in fact they're saying that they probably won't even have a market ready version until late 2019. I'm kind of curious maybe if they're going to de debut it maybe in December of 2019 and then feature it at SHOT Show 2020 what the ship model is going to look like and then maybe get a range day model out there too. So it kind of depends on high point strategy. So basically in the TFB video they went over all the details. They talk about the development. Uh, the guy you see over here on the left is a representative from high point. I remember seeing him last year. He did a great job talking about the carbines that high point offers. The new 10 millimeter model that's coming out. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, designs here to see what we have. Okay, so first things first, again, the design's probably going to change over the course of the year. And again, this is just a 3D printed model, like I said before. This is not a working firearm. So compared to the regular High Point C9, there's a lot of differences that you'll immediately notice. There's also a lot of parts that they share in common. Uh, that's going to be one of the ways that High Point's going to be able to keep the price low on this. They're still hoping for and predicting an MSRP of $200, even with all the features it now has. I'd say it's definitely going to be uh, going to be worth it compared to the base C9 that you can buy right now. So you've got some aggressive... Uh, uh, front serrations up here okay that you're going to be able to take advantage of especially if you do press checks a little bit different design in the slide it's not surrounded anymore it's kind of sculpted up here towards the top you've got some rear serrations that have changed also a little bit different angle on the rear too uh, same safety mechanism that i can tell compared to the regular c9 <clears throat> grips are going to be different they say they're going to have a different texture of grip which is really cool uh, we'll kind of take a look a close up of that here in just a little bit looks like they have a different screw keeping the grip in and the high point logo has also changed this is the new logo for high point in case you haven't seen it uh, they've also changed it on on their website. Uh, trigger looks somewhat similar to the C9. Uh, you know, obviously we won't know about the trigger until we have a more working model to test out. You do have a standard pick rail in the front, which is great because before you were limited to a few accessories that High Point sold. Uh, red dot, and that's pretty much about it uh, that you could get for this thing. And then you've also got a, a threaded barrel, but we'll have more on that here in just a little bit. So this is the left side of the firearm. You know, it has no production markings in it whatsoever because again, it's just a 3D printed model. All right, let's check out the other side. Okay, so over here on the right side, you can get a better view of it. Again, looks more like the standard C9, but again, revised for what you're getting. Uh, a couple things that are going to definitely catch your attention. Again, the front serrations. Uh, you do have a backstrap grip safety. Uh, beaver tail safety, whatever you want to call it, rear grip safety. Uh, the reason why they did this is because on the standard C9s or the C380s, the drop safety would would clank or shake when you would hold the pistol, and that was just part of the design. Well, by putting this uh, rear backstrap grip safety in place, it's going to eliminate one of the parts internally that was making that rattling noise, so that's one good thing about it. Also, in the rear of the pistol grip, you're going to have a reversible uh, adjustment that you can make with this backstrap. You can flip around and make it more rounded if you want it, which is really cool. The thing that I really like about about this design is the pinky rest is completely redesigned this is cool uh, nice thing about this you you don't have this big block sticking off the bottom you got something that looks a little more tapered a little more modern internally instead of using the firing pin as your ejector uh, there is going to be an internal ejector now that's going to change so they'll have something a little more modern so they can use a shorter firing pin something a little bit more modern too so everything's just in the name of, of create changing the design a little bit looks like the trigger guard has changed uh, a little bit also compared to the standard c9 so this is the right side this is what you're going to see. All right, let's move on. Now, let's hope that we have some sort of a sight that'll be adjustable for windage and elevation, but right now, this is what we could see from the rear sights. It looks kind of like the standard two-dot rears that you see on the high points. Uh, this top plate, they're going to design this so that you'll be able to bolt either some sort of a pick, uh, Picatinny section in here or some sort of a red dot mount, so there is an option so that you will be able to put a rear red dot on it. Don't know if you're going to be able to keep that rear sight. That would be cool if they had maybe some tall sights with this plate that comes out, and you could then put your, maybe do a co-witness or something like that down the road if they put some taller sights on it. So that's what you're going to see up on the top. And, uh, okay, we'll go ahead and move on. 
Okay, then over here we just have another angle on that uh, rear grip safety so you can see what it looks like and then also that uh, that round back strap adjustment on there that will give you the better grip on it. Uh, like I said, you can tell it's a 3D printed model. It's going to be something that's going to be displayed at shot at the booth here. And uh, like I said, TFB had that exclusive first access to it. Okay, as for the uh, pistol grip area, and again, the texture looks a lot different on the grips. I hope they have something more grippy, more aggressive, and less smooth and shiny than what they're currently using. Uh, hopefully, the production model looks like this. We are going to have uh, ambidextrous magazine release. We do not have an ambi slide stop. Not that I can see up here, and they're probably doing that so that they can use more of the components from the current C9 and not have to completely re-engineer the firearm. So again, ambidextrous magazine release. And here is a look at that accessory rail. It's going to be that standard Picatinny style or just a standard accessory rail style where you can put a 1913 adapter on whatever you're using to make it fit. Get yourself some sort of a tactical light on there if you want that or some sort of a, a laser. And then that uh, threaded barrel on the front. Now, the gentleman in the video, the High Point representative, said that they were going to possibly order the or offer the barrel um, without threads or with threads. They're going to give you the option of getting it, but that's all still kind of up in the air right now. Um, the, the pattern on the thread, the threads for the barrel is going to be one half inch by 28 so that should give you an idea as to what kind of suppressors you'll be able to run on this thing but i'll tell you right now sub 200 hundred dollar gun that you can put a suppressor on oh, I'm, I'm sold the uh the magazine area definitely had me excited we're looking at a 10 round magazine initially they did they went with the double stack design and i don't know if they're going to have some sort of a like a, some sort of a limiter on it some sort of a mag uh capacity uh, reducer to keep it at 10 because the gentleman did mention that they would look at 15 and 20 round magazine options. So if they go with a more, you know, more crowded uh, double stack system, they could possibly get 15 rounds on this magazine. Or he said the flush fit was going to be 10 with the possibility of 15 down the road. So if they do 15, you're probably going to have something sticking out of the bottom, some sort of an extension on there also. Uh, but they did use the, uh, the the rear receiver or the inside of the receiver of the C9 so that you do have the same kind of lockup on the magazines. But let's hope the magazines have a little bit better build quality to them than the regular C9s. I know that's kind of a problem area with them, but you can see they've got the more modern double stack design for the magazines getting away from uh, single stack. So uh, on the rear here, we can see where that striker is going to be. And again, another rear view of that uh, grip safety as well as that uh, adjustment on the back you can make if you want a longer grip or wider grip. And let's hope maybe some, for, for some aftermarket grip support. That'd be kind of cool if there were some, I don't, I think I've seen some on uh, eBay for the C9s. Hopefully some other companies will get into and offer some different, it'd be nice to have maybe like a diamond pattern or just something a little more aggressive than what High Point has to offer. I'm sure this would be a perfect candidate to learn how to stipple. Um, but anyway, that's just the, the rear of the pistol at this point. And here's the front for you so you can get a little bit close up of that uh, that thread of barrel. And again, a reminder if you're not paying attention earlier in the video or if you're just kind of watching it or whatever, uh, this is just a non-functional prototype. It is a 3, 3D printed static model, I guess you could say, of what the production gun is going to look like, but a lot of changes will come along. It'll be interesting to see the evolution of the uh, pistol too as it comes closer to, to sale time. You can see you got that standard front blade sight with the yellow dot on the back of it. And uh, here is the, the bottom of that grip, so you can see a different angle on that uh, pinky rest that you're going to get for the Flush Fit magazine. Again, that's going to be with the 10-round capacity, double stack. Got the new logo on there, too. And there's the close-up of the trigger. Again, you can see it's been drilled. It's going to be shown off at the at the show. But again, if it looks rough and coarse, it's just because it's a static model, as I've said four times already. But uh, hopefully they'll have maybe a little bit different trigger to it, something maybe a little bit smoother than what the current high point has to offer. So let's hope so. Okay, guys, and just bringing it back one more time, so this is what you're going to see. Again, if they would just put this in production, I could tell you right now I would buy one. Um, again, I'm just there's a lot of neat features on this that addresses a lot of the areas that uh, us high point owners um, have had in the past. And again, I've only had well, I've had two high points. I've had the uh, the 45 pistol, and then I had uh, one of the earlier kind of first gen models of the nine millimeter carbines, and both of them, both of those firearms function just great. Never had any problems with them. So this is something that I do like the newer styling. I'm, I'm sure the weight is probably going to be close to what you had before. They did say, the representative from High Point did say that it's going to have uh, the same materials that they use for the slide, and then also the polymer is going to be the same for your frame. So I wouldn't imagine much of a weight reduction versus the regular C9 right now, which is kind of necessary. Again, it's going to be just a uh, blowback design pistol like we had before. It's not going to have any kind of a breech lock or tilting barrel to it whatsoever. Um, but again, I'm, I'm excited. I think it's cool that High Point is stepping up their game a little bit, and they're going to kind of get with things a bit more than they did before. And again, they're still going to offer that lifetime warranty, which is great. Um, so let's hope for a few more changes, and who knows, maybe they'll announce a few more things or show off a bit more variety in other, in other SHOT Show videos than what, we, uh, what we're seeing right here. 
And again, guys, uh, my thank you goes out to uh, TFB Television. You know, I've been a subscriber of your guys for quite a while. Uh, again, awesome. It's great to to see that they're giving this coverage, this early coverage. I've been waiting to see what High Point was going to release. And uh, hopefully we'll hear some great things from them in the future and a little more coverage from this channel on uh, SHOT Show 2019. And again, I will be sure to put the links for the TFV, TFB video uh, down below in the description box as well as in the uh, comment section. And again, guys, if you like what you see, please check me out over on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. I'm also on GunStreamer and GunChannels.com as well as GunTube.org. A uh, lot more content coming your way, and I don't know how much more I'm going to bring you guys from SHOT Show. I did my preview videos for you guys to show you what's going to be coming out. I'm probably just going to kick back and enjoy some of the footage like I was able to do today with the uh, TFB video. But otherwise, guys, that's it. I want you all to have fun. I want you to be safe. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you mash that bell so that you get the notifications when uh, whenever a new, new content is posted. And as you know, guys, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a great week. Bye-bye.